Okay, Yar, folks, welcome. Welcome. Sabrina, you want to explain what's going on here to the world? We are here. <laughs> um, <laughs> right here. See you right there. Okay, there. I'm not okay, sure. thank you for that. <laughs> I believe Selena said that she would be happy to speak first. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That, that's that's okay. You did a stellar job. Yes. Hello. Um, my name is Selena Flood, and it is seven o'clock. We're just getting the Toronto candlelight vigil for Raymond Robinson started. Let me uh, head back to the window. Okay. There we go. Oh. Knocked over a candle. Yeah. So today we are here uh, in support and solidarity of his hunger strike, which is now on day five. Um, myself and uh, and Christine, who is also here, um, were with him at Victoria Island back in, in January um, when he was on hunger strike uh, with Chief Spence on Victoria Island. Yeah. And uh, what else? But this what, time what, what it's di uh, different. It's more a spiritual fast. Nothing, no sustenance, yeah. no liquids. Yes, he, no, no food, food, no water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it is a much more <laughs> urgent situation, uh, and he is demanding that Prime Minister Harper meet with the First Nations leaders, and um, you know we're we're waiting to see if that happens. Yeah, and then the not that the Prime Minister, it, same tactic he used with Theresa Spence. And, and himself the first time where he didn't say nothing but the Minister of uh, Indian Affairs would meet and but he met with the minister just a couple of days ago yes you want he, to tell us about that um, he did and from what I understand that meeting didn't go very well that uh, sort of resulted in insult uh, in terms of uh, you know, the minister essentially laughing and saying that, uh, you know, that that wasn't going to happen, that this meeting is not going to occur, that Prime Minister Harper has no interest in, in meeting with the First Nations leaders. So, um, you know, it's been it's been an, an intense few months um, with both the first fast and now with this one. And, you know, the, the need for it is becoming stronger. And, you know, as a as a non-native um, person, you know, I'd... I'd I really hope that we can start seeing a lot more support from other, you know, other groups that um, that understand that this is not strictly a First Nations issue, and that's something that you know, speaking with Raymond personally, uh, he he really stressed a lot that the protection of the lands and waters is for everyone, and that we need these, you know, these resources to uh, to to live and uh, to make sure. Mother Earth. Yeah. So. Um, so that's why I'm here today. And would you would you like to? <laughs> say uh, well, that's uh, was, that was pretty well said. Um, I think uh, you know, I, Prime Minister Harper had agreed on paper to meet with uh, First Nations leaders after um, uh, Chief uh, We're being told Chief uh, Theresa Spence's. Sorry, are we being told we can't have this? We've been told we cannot have. Your your life to the world. Well, we're having a candlelight vigil. This is a <laughs> it's very interesting to other mainstream press. Yes. Candles. We've been in here before. Do you have any messages for Brother Ray? Pardon? Any messages for Brother Ray? Just, uh, we're here, and the security's here already, haven't even started, <laughs> telling us to get out, and I guess they're afraid we're going to try to burn down City Hall. 
Yes. Oh, glass and lights. Yeah. Yeah, with I don't know. The yeah, wind. They're, they're going to have to produce here. a bylaw. It's concrete. Right. In the rain. Yeah. I yeah. to produce a bylaw and show us that we can't stand here. They don't have to anymore. Their word is their bond. <laughs> well, we're not inside like last time. This or is outside. Yes. Yeah. We're responsible adults here. Yeah. You know, and this is for a far so greater it. purpose, a higher it purpose. Why is. we are well, here. You know, mm -hmm. I think this is you utterly ridiculous that there are so many stipulations and rules yeah. and regulations, and you know, I don't listen, and we are I don't, doing I don't, something this important. We are here to support Raymond Robertson and his uh, hunger strike. Well, you know, and. Uh, we are all just coming together, and this is one of the ways that uh, you know we are, um, you know, having just just acknowledgement, you know, of what he is doing, and uh, I find that uh, it, it just seems to be disheartening with uh, such, a, you know, um, placement of, of such a ruling here. Mm -hmm. You know, we're outside; it's raining. You know. I don't think Wendy. it's concrete here. This is like concrete jungle here, so, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think I want to say uh, most of all, though, that uh, I um, am praying. And uh, Raymond Robinson and, uh, is in my thoughts. And uh, I uh, also, uh, you know, I want to... Uh, Acknowledge his community too, that we are in support of his community, his family, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we hold Raymond Robinson now uh, in our highest thoughts and prayers. Miigwech. Thank you. Yar. <laughs> Any messages for Brother Ray? Yes. I hope he is still well and. For Don, just for Don, we are also keeping our finger crossed here and trying to do something. Nice, thank you. Okay. 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 Yes, we are told we cannot have candles. If we would like to stay here, we have to put the candles out. We do not need a permit. We at Occupy had our GAs here. Many, many, many months. We don't need no permit. It's, it's the candles up laws. that they're that they're He's just objectionable stuff up. to. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's actually right there. The security office is right, is right behind there. Right behind there. In the middle. <laughs> I don't know if Elder Ray will see this, but but we, I, I'm asking people to give messages to us. We love you. We will post this on YouTube, and, and it's instantly archived. It opened up a lot of hearts, and um, your sacrifice is heard and received in our heart. What? Tell us a bit more. Um, I just of became. Your thoughts. Well, I just became aware of it on. Uh, different social networking and then I read his statement and that statement really um, opened me up and opened my heart so I thought Which, it was, the original one because I think he's the really, second statement yeah. yeah and I just like this idea of that like being placed in the context of a spiritual fast in hope that people will awaken Mm -hmm. I just think it's really beautiful. And also, I'm trying to honor my ancestors as well. Because mm -hmm. I don't, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to, if I ever have kids, if I ever have children, or the next generation, even if I don't have kids, I want them to know that I stood up for the land. Like, land is teacher, land is healer, um, land is provider. I just want them to know. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thanks. Do you have any messages for Brother Robinson? Uh, hope he's uh, well. First thing, he's good. And uh, 
hope his visual turns out, helping him uh, in his spirit to keeping it well. So. How, how do you feel uh, about what he's doing for his people? I feel it's amazing, like to do. In something a sense, like that. he's laying his life oh, for down sure. for his people. For sure, yes. I have a lot of First Nation friends, and I love to support whenever I can. My daughter. She came from Subway, mentioned that this was going on. I arrived nice. an hour ago. My husband drove me here, so I was happy to be here for this. I hope it works. Yes, for sure. Yes. Okay, good enough. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Do you want a candle or? I'm, I'm okay. I, I got my digital candle. Do you have any words for um, Brother Ray? I like to say that First Nations people are not the ones that are in conflict with the government. It's the government that's in conflict with us. For, for generations of, of, from my family and, and from the very first government, it's always been them in conflict with us, wanting something from us, our resources our land, um, sending out misinformation about us. We're not savages, we're peaceful people, as you're gonna see here today. We just want Harper to live up to his word, something he hasn't done, and we're here to hold him to that. Something he promised in January, twice, and nothing's happened. Um, I'd like to know where Sean at Leo is. Is he in Harper's pocket, or is he for the First Nations people? Because we haven't heard a peep about him in regards to um, Grand Elder, Robinson being on this hunger strike, and it's it's quite sad. So, and what First Nations are you? OG Kirk. Kirk. Nice. OG Great. The Confederacy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any words for uh, Brother Ray, brother? Uh, no. Okay. I'm just watching. Okay, you want, you're you're a photographer, just like we're voyeurs, a photographer, filmmaker, live stream. <laughs> I need a cup. <laughs> we're here at, in front of City Hall. Uh, we at Occupy have renamed this Devine Square. Uh, some people still call it Nathan. But there's now almost it's about 7.15 here, local time. Yar. Yar. Hey. I'm asking people, do you have any uh, words for Brother Ray? Yeah. Not, not sorry. <laughs> yeah, open it up. We'll come on in. Big circle. Big circle. Big circle. Big circle. Um, hello, everyone. Um, Oh, and my candle. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a bit windy here today, um, but thank you everyone for coming. My name is Selena, and I'm here today as a, a friend of Raymond Robinson's. I was with him in January while he was on hunger strike with Chief Spence uh, the first time for 43 days. Um, and so, you know, to hear that he is now taking an extra step and is now doing this second hunger strike with no water and no food, uh, he is currently on day five. Uh, I did hear from one of the people who is uh, assisting him in Ottawa right now that uh, within the last few hours that his, his spirits are still very strong. Uh, he is still very committed to this hunger strike and, and will not, knowing him personally and knowing his conviction, he will not stand down until Prime Minister Harper does agree to meet with the First Nations leaders on a nation-to-nation -nation basis. Um, 
you know, I'm here today as, as a non-Native Canadian, and it's good to see that there are other people here too, because one of the important messages that I learned from Raymond as he was on his first hunger strike is that he sees this not as just a First Nations issue, but also as a Canadian issue, and that it's important for all of us to recognize our need to protect our lands and our waters and to keep them safe from future tar sand development um, for the sake of future generations. So I'm, I'm very grateful everyone is here today to show their support, uh, especially considering this all came together in less than 24 hours. Uh, it's, this is an amazing turnout, especially also considering the weather today. Uh, so, you know, I would just personally like to say thank you for being here and showing your support. And, um, you know, I'd certainly love that if anybody else had something to say that they would uh, feel free to speak about, uh, you know, what brought them here today and, you know, the message that they feel. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just add to that that um, I'm here also as a friend of Raymond. I met him. Uh, I was on uh, Victoria Island as well in January. Um, I was uh, uh, hearing about Chief Spence's fast, and I just felt compelled to go down. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what my role of it was. Uh, I didn't even know if I was going to be welcomed. But I just went down and I knocked on the door and. Uh, um, Arrived in Ottawa, I took a cab to this very snowy, you know, half-deserted parking lot, and there was a fence, and inside was the uh, was the encampment. And uh, I knocked on the door, and uh, there were four big guys that opened, you know, answered the door, and I said, I don't know why I'm here um, or what's going to come of this, but I just felt compelled to to come. And they looked at each other and kind of laughed and said, "Sounds like how we got here too." And they were from all different parts of Canada. Um, and I feel like this is, uh, I, I think this is a very, uh, this is a, as well as a political movement, it's also a spiritual movement. And I think uh, the heart is very important. I think you have to listen uh, to your heart. I, I went down on, the imp on just that impulse and um, I was very, uh, I was very welcome, made to feel welcome. And uh, getting to know, um, Raymond, uh, like Selena, I, I was really impressed with uh, with his. Um, uh, I was really impressed with how um, how much compassion he had when he spoke and how inclusive he was. That uh, I, I too, I'm not native, but he was. Uh, he made a point of really. His his message is that this is not just an Aboriginal uh, Indigenous movement. Um, Although I think it's also very important to acknowledge the Indigenous role here, that I think it's time for us to look to them for spiritual leadership. I think they have the tools, the rituals, the ceremonies, the history to, um, to deal, to, to treat the land as a, a living entity. And because of that, they have their political... Uh, um, their way of being politically includes a living relationship with the earth. And I think this is a moment in history where uh, white Westerners have to incorporate um, a spiritual approach to the future, to politics, to the land. And I think it's time for us to look to them uh, to, to teach us how to do this. So I think... <laughs> um, so I think when the first people say something like that, well, I don't want to say any more than I want to pass it over to you. Okay. Woo! You're going to stand with us in solidarity and in sovereignty, as this is our land, native land, Cree land at that, right? I'm a Cree. I know my history. I know who this guy is. I know where you all come from, right? I've been here over since creation was made, you know? That's my history. I can tell you lots of legends about my history. I can tell you some of the stories you bring about in their books are all wrong. They don't identify me where I come from, right? 
All the stories that you made in books are not good for me because they don't identify anything of my people because you wrote the books all wrong. Whoever these authors were back in the day, right? I was given the history because I'm a Cree. And you hear lots about Crees. Crees are the very most powerful people on, in, in a Turtle Island. I could tell you many legends. How Isake Chak was really a, 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 a trickster. Now I'm here. We're going to take you all on. <laughs> Especially <laughs> Prime Minister Harper. Come on, honey. <laughs> Have some heart with us. <laughs> and uh, Prime Minister, if you're listening, I'd like to meet up with you one day. I got some stuff to say to you about my land. Woo! I'll tell you a history story right from my heart and my head. Us, we don't use books to, to tell stories. We're given history stories right from our parents, our grandfathers, grandparents, you know. That's the kind of history we have. We didn't write books. We're not allowed to write books, really. I mean, our spiritual ways are so sacred. Some of them are being brought out in the open so all of you can share the beautiful rituals we have as Native people. Honestly, try go try a sun dance sometime and we'll show you how to do four-day fast. It's so easy if you're strong like me. <laughs> I'm pure bread, by the way, <laughs> not mixed. That's why I can say I'm the boss. I can be the boss anywhere I want to go. I was given that right. God given right. My parents gave me that right. Anymore want to argue with me? Hey, bring it on. <laughs> anyway, Prime Minister, hope to see you soon. Later. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, I'll talk. We just came back um, just last night from Thunder Bay. We went up there. It's a 20-hour drive there and back. We went up with a contingency of 10 people from Toronto and Hamilton. Uh, we met with uh, drummers from Winnipeg, and it was to um, go and protest the police up there, their lack of uh, any answers to the sexual assault uh, that occurred on December 29th, was it? 27th. Um, this just shows you the lengths that people are going to start to go to to do these protests and that uh, this was sprung up in a very short time. So just want to say thank you to everybody to come and uh, there will be more. And the call is out that we do have to go beyond our comfort zone to uh, do these protests and to show solidarity with the people that cannot speak out who are already passed on, our ancestors, and the ones that are still being mistreated um, in this country. And um, that's all I have to say. And we, uh, our hearts are with you, Ray, Ray and our, our prayers. And um, we uh, thank you uh, and make rich. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was here in 1990 when we were uh, 
when we had a uh, Queens Park, when Hoka was happening, uh, there was a lot of people that came through there that helped us out, and uh, a lot of non-native people that helped us out. And we had a sort of a designated uh, speakers that will speak on behalf of our cause, and, and they handle uh, live new uh, news. Uh, Reportings, uh, people like uh, Jimmy Dick and uh, Jay Mason, and there has been other uh, support that we received along the way over the years. Is uh, one was from the Anti-Racist Association. You know, we we had horses run over us. Uh, we uh, marched down University, down Young Street, along Queen Street, and um, you know we took over Queens Park again in 1995 when Dudley George got killed was murdered in uh, Stony Point. And uh, I've been coming to these protests uh, since 1989 up in Timmins here in uh, Toronto and down in uh, Stony Point. We will always be here. We are not going to sit idly by and let the shit that's going on that's being perpetrated by this government of Canada. Thank you. Right on. All right. Um, I would just like to ask if everyone wants to come in close. Um, I'm afraid I don't know any any um, Aboriginal prayers. If anyone does, that would be lovely. And maybe set us on like two minutes of silence so we can all send our energy together. No? All right. <laughs> all right, then let's just take a few moments of silence and send our best wishes. Perfect. I'd like to say uh, thank you to the Father of Creation, Great Spirit, for allowing us to be here today. Thank you for uh, all the people like like uh, Raymond and and people like him that are doing such things to uh, protect our rights. Call upon Creator to uh, to guide, give us guidance and blessing to watch over us as we do this walk and uh, help us so that our voice can get heard. And I ask, uh, I say thank you to Create Spirit for this life, for each and every one of us that's here. Thank you to Mother Earth for all that she gives to us, for her mothering ways, for the sustenance that she gives. Thank you to all the um, <clears throat> all the water life that that is there, that it can be healthy, that it can be protected and and uh, taken care of properly by us human beings and by the laws and by the natural laws that exist and then can be reflected in these natural these buildings here in the buildings that are man-made buildings but i pray i give thanks to all those animals those fish creatures that lay down their lives at times for us and that their habitat is clean and healthy and i uh, give thanks to the the four legged to all the animals that have a uh, habitat in the wilderness in the forests and give thanks to them for all that they give us <clears throat> Including that sometimes that they lay down their lives so that we can live. And I pray that we can protect their habitat and that their uh, that their children's children too can be be thought about and safe and protected. Give thanks to the birds, the winged ones and all that they give. And uh, give thanks to the trees and the air for the air and the oxygen that happen. Give thanks to the winds. Give thanks to those four directions, the four seasons. We thank to all the uh, <clears throat> the fires, the fire, and the sun. We thank to the sun that shines every day, and all the stars in the sky, all the grandfathers, all the guardians of creation. And I uh, <clears throat> give thanks to um, the father of creation and the mother of creation for allowing us to be here and all that they give to us. And I uh, ask for guidance and, and uh, protection. Okay. All my relations. Thank you. Yeah.
<laughs> thank you everyone for, for coming tonight. And I hope that tonight isn't the end of your action. Hope that we can all work together and push for change and stand united with First Nations because we know that standing with First Nations means saving ourselves for all of you non-native people like we. Um, so tweet about this and post about this and tell everyone you know about the struggles because the only way that we will succeed is if we all stand together and we bring everyone that we know into this. Oh, be glitch! One person after one person so you know it does make a difference to talk to the people you know um, this is not being covered in the media uh, it is a tiny bit but nothing like what it should be um, so if if enough people start talking about it that it'll tip the scales and it'll it'll become a more public issue yes we cannot rely on mainstream media and since we know what's going on, we need to educate people who are relying on mainstream media. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard it's time for that meeting. Yes. A man's yeah. life is at stake here. Mm -hmm. right. 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 I'm supporting Raymond Robinson. In his just stand against the genocidal attacks of the Harper dictatorship and the colonial confederation. And as a Canadian, it's my moral and historical duty to be here and to support his struggle and his stand. So Harper better agree to that meeting now. 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 Up to you, Mr. Harper. We're the, best We're the best marchers, you know. I've been here for a long time. I'm so older than you, I could tell you all of the disciplines you need. What do you want to say? You were um, saying something earlier with the chiefs? Oh, no, it's uh, time for our hereditary chiefs to take their stand. Get fucking Marv Rowe. Get that yeah. bastard out. Get his cronies out. That's right. Corporations are spending too much time and money putting garbage into people's minds. I woke up five years ago from that sleep. I'm not going back to bed. <laughs> right on. People need to be more aware of a lot of the corruption, not just the government, but the, the little rats that run on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because people are so convinced and so confused by what's going on that they cannot embrace the truth. Because the truth is there, the truth is there, the truth is there, the truth is here. But we're all here. We're all talking about the same issue. We're all standing in solidarity with the same issue. Because we believe that in solidarity comes change. Yes. And unless you have solidarity, there is no change. But the efforts are proven here tonight. Glitch. 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 Oh. <laughs> My name is Rebecca Tomogadon. I just wanted to, um, oh, somebody's. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you so much to the organizers of tonight and just to acknowledge everybody that's come out tonight. And uh, it might seem small, but it's not. It's happening across the country. 
and it's happening online and via the web and um, within our hearts and within our prayers and that means a lot and this movement is just beginning um, as Indigenous people, I'm Ojibwe from Wisoxing First Nation. We know, even though we're very diverse in this land known as Turtle Island, we are still only 4% of the national population. So we need to unite. We have no option but to unite and to build a popular movement together. So I appreciate everybody that's come out, non-Indigenous, Indigenous, and um, we must stand together. And as sad as it seems, um, the extreme tactics that some people are choosing to take up, um, it just shows how desperate the situation is. And it shows how our leadership right now does not have the strength or the courage to stand up to this dictatorship in Canada. And it's so important that we listen to our elders, that we support all these grassroots um, activities. So I just also want to invite people to come out. I'm part of Idle No More Toronto on Tuesday nights. We have our teach-ins. And um, they've been going since all of this began. And um, to, to invite everybody to come out and if to, just to learn, but also out of that has formed um, an allied group called Canadians Unsettled, um, Nation to Nation Now. So it's, as you were saying, it's a good opportunity to meet and to just go out and do it. Because, you know, as we see tonight, word travels fast now <laughs> along the Moccasin Telegraph. And we have all that power. And, um, you know, I think of Chief, Chief Teresa Spence and Elder Ray. I think of Gandhi. And I think of, you know, people that have put their bodies on the line out of desperation. Um, but for the people so that it gives us the space to reflect and the strength and courage to inspire us all. So, I just wanted to say something too. This is what they don't want to happen. They don't want us to come together. They want us to be in isolation. They want us to not communicate. They want us to not be together. They want us to be divided. But see now, We've all woken up to that and people are waking up to these dividing tactics and they don't work anymore. We see through that. And that's why we're all here coming together. Resistance. Don't be fooled by the trolls that you see walking around too. They think that they're part of it, but they're using the movement. That's why you gotta really open your eyes, guys. You really gotta see what's in front of you. You really got to look with your eyes and your mind because trolls are everywhere. A couple could even be here tonight. We don't know. The best things are left unsaid, but they're also safe for the last. The last thing I want to say is that we're all here. Yeah. So a lot of you proven that courage, a lot of you proven that strength, that together we could fight a power that is much more evil than, than what we think we see right now. This is just the beginning. So... I just had a brain fart. <laughs> I, I think it's just it's just great that we're all coming together like this. You know what I mean? It just shows strength and it shows it shows humanity. You know what I'm saying? And and, and with with what the the Harper government's doing right now, or whatever government, that's not it's not really making people here in, in so-called Canada look so good right now. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> It's just, it's like, oh, you know, we, we're doing great. You know, indigenous people in Canada are well taken care of. So speak to the books of whatever they put out there for people to see and read. Yeah, in our history books, we were, as a kid going to high school up in Moosonee, Ontario, the books I said that we were savages. So I just want to say to the world, I'm a born again savage. <laughs> 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 I got a tattoo on my neck that says Turtle Island. I took great pride in kind of pinning this tattoo in before it was inked. Because I, when I speak, 
and I make music, I want people to know that when it comes out my throat, Turtle Island is backing me. Because I speak for my people when I speak through microphones or I speak through stages, whatever it is. People need to hear the truth. People need to hear what's really going on. They're so convinced that what the TV is telling them is real. It's time to just chuck that TV in the garbage. Go pawn it. You know what I'm saying? Get 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 some cast. You could go to the next event or something. You know what I'm saying? You don't need TVs. You know what I'm saying? And and one thing that really bothers me is that people are still continuing to do it. People are still fooled by some of the trolls out here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's really hard to point out who they are. It's really that's why people got to keep both their eyes and ears open because looks can be deceiving. You know what I'm saying? And what you hear is not always the truth. People speak from what they heard, but not with knowledge. And that's what's sad. That's what has to stop. People are out there right now that maybe we don't even know about. Are risking their lives to change ours. To make better future for the youth. For the kids. For the newborns that are born this second. Because they don't know what's going on. They're victims right now. And unless we do something about it, this ain't going to change. Oh. Uh -huh. Maybe what we could do is uh, to show our solidarity and maybe we could just mention the communities that we come from or where we were born. I'm from uh, Moose Factory, Ontario. Go ahead. Um, Saskatchewan. I'm from Hobima, Alberta, an old Cree. Hi, hi. Born in England. Lake Manitoba First Nation. I'm here personally living in Toronto. Uh, I am of the Ojibwe Nation on my father's side. I'm an Algonquin on my mother's side. My name is Lena. I'm Shisha and uh, Dutch. My name is Sigrid. I'm Seneca Mohawk on my mother's side from Six Nations and Swedish on my father's side. Y'all know me. I'm a uh, someday clay, which is a strong hearted woman. My uh, father is from Manitoulin Island, where I used to be uh, Ojibwe Nation. I'm Kathy, I'm from Vietnam. I'm David, I'm from Toronto. Yes. My name's Derek, uh, I'm from Toronto, part of the human tribe. We're all one tribe. Doesn't matter where we come, what nationality, what background, we're all one. Yeah, yeah. I'm Sabrina. I was uh, born in Ontario. My family is from Europe. But we are all one people and we all need to fight for what's right. Is this introduction time? Yes. Hi. Um, my name is Selena Flood. I'm from Ontario, or Toronto, Ontario. And um, I'm here today as a personal friend of Raymond Robinson's and looking forward to uh, hopefully having more more gatherings like this and and praying that uh, that Harper will you know concede con defeat yeah <laughs> uh, be willing to negotiate and and take the First Nations issues more seriously um, not just for the First Nations people but for all Canadians Thank you. <laughs> I'm Beata I'm from Europe uh, I didn't born here but I'm all for or for the cause. Thank you. Oh, hi. I'm Carissa. I'm from, I was born in Buffalo, raised in Fort Erie, and I'm Mohawk from Six Nations. And now that I'm talking and y'all got me talking, <laughs> I might as well just say that um, a few of us, we traveled to Ottawa when the Nishi U Walkers came, and I actually had the privilege to listen to um, Grand Elder Raymond speak and then um, 
you know, like the same thing that compelled me to go to Ottawa in the first place brought me to go and sit with him and actually talk more with him. And the things that he was saying was like, you know, like a lot of us were very, we're, we're frustrated, like we're angry. Like, why does it have to come down to our people going on these like hunger strikes? Why, like, why are they not listening to us? But he told us, he told me that we have to remember our teachings, the seven grandfather teachings and always go by that, always live by that every single day. So even though like we may feel anger and even when he told me about his decision, that's what I felt. I felt angry because I was, you know, like, what does this mean? And are people going to listen? And, uh, and I was sad, but then I remembered what he said to me that we always have to come from a place of peace, love, courage, strength, honor. And then I uh, also was thinking about, um, he told, what he said to me was, you know, I'm just one person. There's, I'm one person that's suffering. There's many people out there struggling. Use your energy for the, those people. So that's kind of what I'm going to do moving forward. And, um, you know, continue to try to live each and every day with those teachings that he reminded me of. And that's what he said is like success at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. Knowing that when you go to bed at night, you live by those. So when you're out there. Hi. Um, I'm Anibuju. Um, in My native name means Loon Woman. Uh, I'm from Chippewa of Cut on Stony Point. Was raised in Windsor, Ontario. Now I live in Toronto. Um, thank you. Thank you. Brother, hi. Dante, let's get to my gun, see cousin. Maswa, do team. My gun, do team. I come from Gawinana Ski. Hi. Okay, yeah. 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 Er. <laughs> Six years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm from Mississauga. And, uh, and I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zach. I'm from Montreal. How are you? Hi, I'm Moira and I'm from Oakville. From where? Oakville. Oakville, nice. Just outside of Toronto, folks. Hi, I'm Will, and I'm originally from Caledonia. Nice. Just outside of Toronto. Yeah. Hello, my name is Kawi. I mean, that's Mohawk for carrying. I came from Six Nations Reserve. I'm full-blooded Mohawk. And I came here in support of Raymond and his hunger strike. But I'm also here because I want a better life for my sisters. I want a better life for my cousins and the seven generations that are coming up because they're the ones that matter and they deserve a better world than this. So, Harper better get on that right now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Jessica. I'm from um, Vancouver Island. Happy to be here. Nice. Thanks. I'm Suzanne. I'm from uh, born and raised in Sudbury, but I live here in Toronto now. And I want to thank the gentleman who's filming this. He's working very hard. At thank you so much. I'm from Iceland, by the way. Oh, good. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Bill. I live in Parkdale. I was born in Vernon, Toronto. British Columbia. Okay. And stir up. I've already, I've already been. Hello. Okay, okay. <laughs> I moved so around. I just want to say that if, if Grand Elder. Um, Raymond Robinson dies. His blood is on Harper's hands. So just remember that, Harper. His yes. blood is on your hands. And then we start talking martyrdom. Yeah. You know. And then what? Then yeah. What no, I, I. What happens? You know, I'd rather have him by our side. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. it's avoidable. It is right? completely. All it's you unnecessary. Have to do is talk to him. Like, what's so hard about that? What's so hard about so nation either to talk nation to him, like you promised? Yeah. Harper's got a decision: either talk to him or make him a martyr. Yeah. You know? And where are you from? I'm originally from Winnipeg. Okay. Thank you. Introduction. Oh, Stacy. <laughs> and you're from? And I'm from Toronto. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Walking Wolf. I live here on occupied Toronto land. <laughs> where are you originally from? Newfoundland, Labrador. Nice. I think we're all, you, you don't want to go on? That's okay. That's okay. No, no problem there. 
I am born Canadian, born in Toronto, just live up in Aurora now. That's about it. But, uh, and, uh, Anything you want to say to Brother Ray? So yeah, he's doing it. yeah, he's doing this on behalf of there's so many people that he's representing. It's not, it's not even just me. It's anybody that's oppressed in this country that's a slave to the economic system that just wants to make, uh, you know, it's just you're just a dollar bill to some of these some of these people. And, you know, we gotta fight against that. And uh, thank you. Yes. I'm so happy you're doing this, Ray. I trust you implicitly. I, I need a, some sort of leader in this. I'm afraid for the land itself that my nieces will never see Algonquin Park like I saw it, or any part of this country the way I saw it as a little girl and fell in love with it and it has nourished me. And I'm afraid without people like you, it'll never come back and they will never know what I know and see what I saw. And I hope to get some education. I'm not only even miseducated, they skipped right over it like it wasn't even real. I met my first native friend and I was just, it was like meeting a unicorn. I mean, I'm sounding silly here. No, you're not. Uh, and she was looking for a job and she said, I think it's because of racism. And I thought, what do they think, that you're not real? Because they make it seem like there's not that many native people in the nation ever, when that's not true. And I, lucky for me, I had a, a girlfriend to sort of explain it to me instead of just, you know, scoff and walk away at dumb old whitey. But, I'm trying and she, it, I, I learned later on what the prejudices were against Native Canadians and I'm appalled and I, I mean to make good on the injustice I've benefited from my whole life. I understand that I'm culpable as far as I've benefited from it. That's what I owe the movement. So, be seeing you. And where are you from? I'm from Aurora, Ontario, just outside the city. Didn't take long. I'll be back. Yes. <laughs> Brother? Hi, how are you doing? We're doing intros. Where are you from? Um, and do you have any message for Brother Ray? Of course. This is way too cheesy right now. You can just take that elsewhere. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I think we're at the last two. Or did uh, I'm Christine Pavney. I'm from uh, Vancouver, BC. I live in Toronto now. I'm Julie from Sudbury. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I just yeah, want to say with thank you to everybody and that you, uh, you. identified I'll, I'll, them. I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay. And yeah. identified themselves and where they come from to show their solidarity. It's really amazing that people from all walks of life can come together in, uh, in the face of evil. You know, uh, we have a long fight ahead of ourselves. Like even uh, seven generations ago, our our people knew that this day was coming and it's going to continue to happen uh, like our late Art Solomon said that it's going to get worse before it gets better and hopefully uh, it's pretty bad right now I don't know how much more it can get worse before the whole nation the whole world starts waking up to actually what's going on to this land you know like I'm probably going to be dead and buried by the time this the thing comes to an end but who knows you know surprise me there is hope very much. Thank you. And I guess last but not least, uh, the director of this live stream. My name is Dee Shanger. I'm originally from Iceland. I live in Toronto. But I was actually born, of all places, in Australia. I was born down under, but I'm Icelandic. And I, now, Australia! I have a footprint in three continents. <laughs> I <don't> Australia. <laughs> Yar. <laughs> I, I I don't think I missed anybody. There's a great vibe here. Brother Raymond Rackman Robinson started his hunger fast last Friday morning. He sent out three press releases, including uh, one a uh, few hours ago, uh, I think around four. And he's he is in Ottawa, but he's not saying which place in Ottawa. He likes to have his privacy. Um, that is a guarded secret in terms of where uh, he is actually 
doing his spiritual fast, but he is in Ottawa. Just because a lot of people weren't sure, but yes, he is in Ottawa. Just so you know. And um, we're here in Toronto, in front of the square, in front of City Hall. We at Occupy Toronto renamed this Devine Square after the tank of hosts. He's got the weekly uh, episode 78. This Thursday is uh, uh, of Devine's First Nation show. Uh, it's the 18 month anniversary on the nose there, Fred 109. Did you know that? And Devine is going to interview the Nishu chief, Stanley George. Uh, we're going to do. So. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, please keep uh, Raymond in your hearts and your uh, prayers. Um, uh, like this gentleman said, it is a man's life at stake, and um, we need to carry that in our in our hearts. Um, so thank you. I don't know if there's anything uh, my fellow organizers wanted to say. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Thank you, everyone. Please keep Raymond in your prayers. We love you, Ray. Woo! I'd like everybody to hold each other's hands and let's say a quick prayer. Okay. We're gonna, uh, we'll no one's got prayer. a drum? This gentleman is going to say a quick prayer. I got a drum, but it's got no stick. <laughs> round dance. <laughs> yeah, can we do a round dance? Yeah, can we do a round dance? We don't have any drum. <laughs> this does remind. This is the exact spot we had the numerous, numerous GAs, and I've been in this position numerous times as the only one allowed in the circle. Bring back a lot of old memories for me. Months, months. This spot for our general assembly. I'd like to ask Creator for strength, for wisdom, and acknowledge that we as people, not just indigenous, but as humanity, take the next step forward to change and solidarity. A new generation has come, a revolutionary generation. It is up to us to fight for what we believe in. Not with violence, but with our voices. Because sometimes our voices are stronger than weapons of mass destruction. I pray that everybody here tonight leaves a great spirit. It goes home, has a great sleep, and you better smudge before you go to bed. <laughs> okay. For Mr. Robinson, for everybody else who's sacrificing a lot to be where they are right now to fight for a change. Not for today, not for tomorrow, but a generation to come. It is up to us to make that difference. So I pray for those in solidarity, my brothers and sisters. Get a moment of silence. To all my relations. To all my relations.
<laughs> hey! Yeah. Yar. Yes, and on. Yes. Yeah, we'll let the world know soon. Why are you part of my face now? Occupy your mind. Occupy something. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yar. Look at these Mike. slackers. They don't even yeah. work 24 hours. Kathy! Hello, Adi, Bichu. How are you? Hey, we had a really good time in. Uh, I was going to ask about Thunder, Thunder Bay. Uh, it was quite sad, actually. Um, there was uh, three of us uh, Indians on our bus, and then. It was amazing because we met the drummers from Grassy uh, Narrows in Saskatchewan. And they were really amazing, eh? Do you guys want to come and talk? Oh, did you? Okay. Don't let me do this alone, girls. Um, and, uh, <laughs> oh, it's me again. This is so great. So, uh, sorry, my eyes are watering. I'm not crying. Um, yeah, so it was uh, really good. Uh, the only thing is, we did one action in the evening. It took us, what, like 19 hours to get there? It was like yeah, long. Yeah, it's a long drive. But the view is just, ah. Uh. And then we had this, like, snowstorm. So we were actually a day later because we had to stay overnight at a hotel. And then the snow, the big, huge snow in the trees. <gasps> that was in Wawa. That was just, ah. Uh. I thought, like... I thought like Manitoulin and and uh, and like Huntsville was beautiful. Like up there, it's just fucking beautiful. Excuse my language, but anyways, um, yeah. So uh, when we went there, we had a little bit of um, scuffle with the police. Nothing serious, but um, they were ready for us for sure. Um, and then uh, we just stayed out in the front. Uh, the three of us ladies, we were asked to go inside and, and uh, we didn't go inside because uh, we didn't feel that it was our time to go in to the police station. So we just stayed outside and the, um, the amount of uh, support that we got from uh, the trucks going by was a lot. There were a lot of natives that really supported us. Now that's the key thing because a lot of local natives supported us but no one was there. So when we went uh, that night, we actually found uh, um, she called herself a streetwalker, but she's not a streetwalker. She's actually an outreach person. And so what she does is she um, she goes and she talks to the people. She's actually on the red road herself, so that means no drinking, no drugs. She's straight and clean, and she's trying to help the people. So uh, she um, she uh, would uh, go and talk to the people and, and just make sure that they're okay. And so she knew a lot of what was going on. And she told us, like, people would, uh, in their, like, big pickup trucks, would go and take these big chains, turn down the window, and throw these chains at natives, specifically oh. targeting natives. While they're on the full throttle. Like, no, while, yeah, while they're in full, full driving, they'd whip these chains at these people. We're just walking by. Now, um, the reason why we were up there is because there is a young woman who, uh, um, I guess she's in her 20s, on the 27th of December, so two days after Christmas, uh, was walking in a very nice neighborhood. Um, and she was uh, um, raped, beaten, uh, strangled, and taken, for, uh, taken outside of the city and left for dead and then she had to find her own way home. It took her four hours to go home. Now, when uh, uh, when she went to uh, report it to the police, they hassled her too. And then they also made claims that she was a streetwalker, a prostitute, or that she wanted it. So basically, uh, what she... Um, 
she was the one that was the victim. She was re-victimized again. And I think that she, um, there was like two or three times that she had to go to the police station. Every single time she, she was harassed. And when we asked them, are you on the case? They told us five people were on the case. There's actually one cop on the case. They know the car. They know the people. They're not doing anything about it. And this is actually something that happens in Thunder Bay all the time. When we went to, uh, it's called Red River Road, we talked to the natives and the, and the, the local natives there, and they all thought that it was wonderful what we were doing. They all had stories that they could tell of women they knew that were missing or murdered or raped. They all knew people that had uh, problems with the cops who were beaten thrown in jail so this is like a, almost an everyday if not every week it's occurs. very epidemic in it's, Thunder Bay it's so bad the second it's, biggest deepest port in harbor in Canada it's Canada. so bad that the RCMPs picked up somebody outside of Thunder Bay and said that if it were if it weren't for them and if the Thunder Bay police had had dealt with them there would have been a, a, a worse outcome the RCMP know exactly what's happening with the, the Thunder Bay police. So, and nothing's being done about it. So, um, we went uh, on the uh, Saturday and we had our our, um, our drumming circle with the, uh, the drummers from Grassy Narrows, which they were beautiful, beautiful women. And we met some very strong women who told their stories, uh, one in particular about a sister that went missing and murdered, and no one's found out anything. They haven't found her, they haven't found her killer. And it's really hard to hear these stories because, uh, you know, like you just, you feel so, so, so bad for them, you know, that, that there's no closure for them and that their loved ones are gone and missing. So, uh, you know, and, and we begged the police, you know, we told the police that, you know, as in our, in our culture, the men are supposed to protect the women and they're not doing their job. So, you know, our men can only do so much, but when they protect us, then, then they're jailed, you know, and, and these men are there to protect us and they're not doing their job. So uh, when I came back out, we went to a coffee shop and there was a woman that was there. She had brought her kids, but she didn't go out where we were. She told me that nobody will come and stand with us, not because they didn't agree with it, but because they're afraid to. She works in the legal system. She herself couldn't go over and be with us. And she wow. actually gave me her email address. She she thanked us all. And she was like so honored that we were there. And she said, Thunder Bay needs more people like us to go up there for them because they can't do it. We get to go home. We don't have to deal with the police again, but they have to stay there. And if they stand up for their own rights, they're beaten, thrown in jail and locked up for who knows how long. So we've definitely got to do something about this. So I definitely support this elder who's who's fasting or on this hunger strike for us because uh, our own chiefs aren't even doing anything for us. We need to bring our hereditary chiefs back and bring in our clan mothers and our grandmothers and go back to our own ways. Screw band council, screw Harper, screw all that shit. We need to make a stand, a definite stand, and more people need to be doing these actions. Right, here, here. It's, a, it's Brother Ray Robinson's... Uh, uh, elder, grand elder. Uh, it's his second fast. He fasted with three suspense. Mm -hmm. And uh, this time, no water, no sustenance, mm -hmm. no nothing. Well, there was uh, Jeanette Palaus that just uh, stopped her fast. Uh, sorry, hunger strike, and because she couldn't do it anymore, and she's got small children. So uh, where's she from? She's from Quebec way. So um, so he's uh, he's continuing on. So that's good. And unfortunately, our elders are going to be the ones that have to do it because, like, I would love to do it myself, but I have small children, and I did consider doing it. I wouldn't do it with tree suspense. I'm not a fan of tree suspense, but that's my thing. I have my own issues about it uh, that I don't really want to get into here. But I do support uh, Raven. And um, and more people need to uh, to stand up for the people that that really need to be stood up for. Not band council, not people that represent band council, not our elected chiefs. Uh, we need to stand up for the people that can't, uh, that aren't heard, for the ones that don't get to the ballot votes, that don't get to vote, for the ones whose voices aren't heard. So, Jimmy Gooch. Yar. We're going for Just coffee, Captain. Thank, thank you to our allies who yes. helped support us uh, get up there and uh, stood with us. And I'm just going to reiterate that um, we all need to do uh, whatever we can, not just when it's good weather. We were really freezing up in Thunder Bay, and it was nothing compared to what the women are facing up there. Um, we just stood our ground and froze. and. Um, 
that sacrifice and that out of our comfort zone is nothing. It, it is nothing that we did. Um, and we all have to do that. We have to stand up and, and start getting right out there. And the next trip is going to be to Winnipeg. The yes, women have invited. asked. We've she been invited. invited they want us out there. They need support. So we're going to go to Winnipeg. Um, nice. Um, Hopefully when the it's women warmer. do need support. They are really traumatized. Um, so anybody that has strength, please do what you can, even if it's small, just do what you can. Do you know how bad it is there? When I talk to certain people there, certain the women were like right with me. They understood. But certain women, I don't know if you noticed this, certain women were so hard by all the abuse that they've received all their life that when I was explaining why I was there, all they did was look at me like right past me. They couldn't even feel for other people because they themselves were so hurt. And, and one thing, um, there was a woman there and it was her sister that Robert uh, picked and got, right? Yeah. It was her sister? Yeah. In BC. In BC. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they did get some body parts, I believe, back, she said, because it's kind of blurry when you hear people speak about that. We were all hugging after to hug that woman. Um, she she doesn't let go. She's so traumatized that um, yeah, I'll, I'll never forget that because she did not let go of me. She just wanted me to hug her. It was it was unbelievable. It's just not right. So for that pain, yeah, for the exactly for those women to be so much pain. It, it's. Yeah, we get to go home. These girls live it all the time, you know, 24 seven. And who's standing up for them? You know, it's we Harper. Are. Well, we absolutely. Are. We and, you know, are. We're standing up. For it's them, a shame that it's a shame that it's the women that have to to stand up for for, for all these people because it should be everyone, everyone, like not just native women standing up for, for native women it should be native men standing up for the women it should be you know our elders and our grandmothers and it should be our politicians it should be our allies there should be lots of people very angry at what's going on you know this sort of uh hate should not be happening he's awake yeah exactly hello Oh, he doesn't see me for a week and he doesn't know. I know. Oh. Like, Who the hell are you? Oh. Oh. I'm in a thunder game. I'm so hurt. I'm <laughs> He's like, I want that beautiful view again. I do it. Yar. There's this moment where hey. he was, uh, It's the live stream computer. Now you remember oh, Uncle Yar, there. right? And I woke yeah, up. Yeah, do it. That's Devine and Kathy. Oh. Beautiful yeah, baby. Like, okay, go back to sleep now. Yeah, yeah. I just woke up with that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You got any words for Brother Ray? Hi. Haven't seen you in like how We're many doing hours? the on this <laughs> all for you. Seen you on the trail, bud. In how many hours? This kid has oh. gone to so many oh. actions. Oh. This kid has been like never idle. I've been to one First Nations Royal Blockade. Two. And this guy's been in two. And <laughs> and, and, this little guy on screen. And a bridge blockade. A bridge for three. And, he, and even though I don't necessarily agree with Teresa Spence, he did give a tobacco tie to Teresa Spence. So. Number one. Wow. That's right. <laughs> really? What's the first song another show baby one? from the Grassy Narrows? Oh, yeah, they, that's brought right. a, they brought up a uh, child. That's right. A baby. Seven months hey, old. Yes. And his name is Brian. Hey, bud. Yeah. So puppy. So no, the like, children are coming out. Right. Mr. Harper. <laughs> That's right, Harper. If it's not us, our children will get they you. Were, they're going to know they're our gonna, ways. The seven well, grandfather teachings. So they they won't forget. Too. And they'll live longer we're than me. We're learning the seven grandfathers their, over and over again. And yes. we're passing it on. And you should learn them too. So who's on now? we got a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, at least four continents, I would guess to me. Anyone I know on there? Oh, on the live chat. Uh, what the red pill is on? Chirpers on. Hey, it's Fred one hundred and nine. Hey, Fred one hundred and nine. Yar. Yar. Yeah. Sorry, I'm filling in for Devi today. Yar. Yar. Yar, Captain. Yar. You know who we're interviewing mm -hmm. for the whole show this Thursday? The uh, 
Nishu Chief uh, Stanley George. Okay, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's going to be wild, a Skype interview with him. That's mm -hmm. going to be nice. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> and, and uh, Damon, are you going to ask any questions? Do you want to ask anything to the world? He said, yeah! What are you doing in Thunder Bay Police Department? Yeah. yeah. I heard him say that. I heard him too. I heard him. Yeah. Me too. That's a sure word. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Thunder Bay Police. <laughs> That's a big word. I know. Well, First Nations have long words, right? We do. Lots of days and lots of Just eyes. like in Icelandic, we have 60, 80 letter words. Yeah. Where it might take us 10 seconds to pronounce it. And, uh, hey, I've got, I've got, a, I've got um, uh, an Ojibwe word for you. Oh. That's coffee. <laughs> what the? Who, one more time. So you go to Timmy's. How do you, you don't say? Ask for I, want, I, want, I want that with double double. How That's do you say right. that? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I said to my teacher. How do you say that with coffee with milk and sugar? Now, you're going to have your coffee way later, right? On your breastfeed. A tea. <laughs> it means water, Nibish is water, um, the leaves from the plants ground it up in something with a great bitter taste. So there, Ojibwe, 101. <laughs> nice. Yar. This is, uh, just Google Occupy Toronto live stream. And the first thing that comes up is that. <laughs> Thank you. Yar. Thank you. Yar. Have fun, have fun. <laughs> Wave to Brother Ray! Yay! Maurizio! Go! 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 I'll read some of my lyrics that a lot of people are asking me about my style. I'm young Jibway, by the way. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, over here? people are asking me about this track when it's coming out. It's coming out in May. Hey, Stephen Harper is what it's called. And uh, I'll actually rap the first verse. And what's your background? Uh, Jibway and Quarter Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell me why you up in a house of commons full of communists. It's like a comic. We're commons. They're up in your face like vomit. In newspaper articles, mind controlled particles stuck in their brain. That's why they believe what he's saying. This shit is crazy. People are like guinea pigs. People consume people as young as little kids. And they wonder why Canada is as crazy as it is. And he expect my people to take the rapper's mess? Nah. Even the truth gave me one to the head. I might be gone, but people gonna remember what I said. So listen. I'm idle no more. I'm right at your door. So tell Canada who you really working for. People mad but don't know it yet. I don't know but blowing these clouds, but I'm a. I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of run along with the flow because I'm just writing shit, shit, and I'm still writing more. <laughs> All right, so. I'm on a mission, so listen. The system we live in is giving people information that got them contemplating the truth. And I'm just being real with the you, huh? Something you ain't fit to do. Look at you, Stephen Harper. Nice. Boo. Can't wait. Track's coming out. Hey, Stephen Harper, young Jibway. I'm going to go knock on his front door. I, you know, I want to shoot a music video, actually. That, that, guy's, that guy's front lawn. You know what I'm saying? Just put, like, some jackass shit and just take a nice big crap on his lawn, you know? But, nice. <laughs> <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah, man. Facebook, C A M E R O N M O N K M A N. On Twitter, at Young Jibway. Support this guy behind the camera right now. He's one of the realest people out there doing the positive stuff, trying to change how we live and how we eat tomorrow. Because tomorrow is not promised to us. That's why we got to stand up for the people now, especially the younger kids. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's vital. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff is vital. It changes how our future establishes, especially for the younger generation of people. You know what I'm saying? I'm 27 years old. 
And about five years ago, I was still in Winnipeg. You know what I'm saying? I was all about, oh, I want to wear gold. You know what I'm saying? I want to I wanna rap and be famous and, you know, say fuck bitches and hoes and all this stuff and get vehicles and get gold on my neck. What the fuck was I thinking? You know what I'm saying? That stuff don't matter. What matters is that I woke up and I see reality for what it really is. It bit me in the ass really hard, but at least I can say I took a good beating and now I'm ready to take on this this controversial shit with the government, with with, with Stephen Harper, you know what I'm saying, and, and Obama and all this stuff. Like, I'm going all over this coming year. So, nice. I think people got to be a little, a little more open with what's going on around them because... Things are changing real fast, you know what I'm saying? So, I got a mixtape coming out in October. It's called Killuminati. And nice. that's going to be a lot of controversial stuff. And that Hey uh, Stephen Harp- hey, Stephen Harper track is going to be on there. So, you know, it's, it's, I actually just want to do some, some revolutionary stuff. Um, I turned down, actually, I was going to pay like $1,000 to do a track with Dr. Dre's son. But... I wasn't really feeling comfortable about it because it was more mainstream. And I don't want to be a mainstream artist. I want to be an artist for the people. I want to be someone who can speak on behalf and with the people because that's what we need right now. We don't need people there publicizing what goes on in the world like this chief guy who did his song with Snoop. Fuck him. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, this this is just crazy. So so when I rap and when I perform, I do it from the heart. I do it from, I do it from my people. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I got Turtle Island tattooed on my neck because when I speak, I'm representing not just where I come from, but I'm representing my heart and how it comes out of my heart. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it comes right up my neck. Turtle Island, it's got to filter right through it and all the words of wisdom come out. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I do a lot of what I do for the people. I came up, you know what I'm saying, like before before I straightened out, I used to, I used to smoke crack. I used to hang around gangs. I used to do all that stuff because I thought I was cool. I didn't really felt like I fit in. But that's more because I didn't accept myself. And for people that don't accept themselves, they want to adapt to something to make themselves feel happy. But when I woke up, I was all by myself. So it was a new beginning for me. And that's what I think people out there should be doing, you know what I'm saying? And never mind about this materialistic shit, you know what I mean? Because... Turning down a, a track with Dr. Dre's son was hard because, you know, we grew up on N.W.A., you know, fuck the police and everything. But at the same time, they, they live in a new era where they want to market themselves as artists that sell out. I don't want to sell out. I don't want to be this artist that, that, that people say, oh, you know, like he's using our culture to sell out. You know what I mean? I have no respect for people that do that because they have no respect for the culture. And little do they know they have no place to say anything about the culture anyway. Because I don't see them out there, you know, smudging, carrying a drum, going to powwows and stuff like that, going to rallies and protests. I've been kind of away for a bit because I've been dealing with some stuff. But, you know what I mean? Like, I'm back coming June, July. This, like, hell, things are going to get hectic around here. I'm, I'm going to be around. I'm going to help. I'm going to contribute. I'm going to do what I can. You know what I'm saying? Big ups to test their logic. You know what I'm saying? They, they got something out right now, I think. A uh, new uh, B album or something. But it's going to be dope. Check them out, too. Testerlogic.com. Yeah. That's what's up. Thank you, young boy. <laughs> oh, my God. OMG. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> Okay, folks, I, we are done here. My name is D. Shanger. I'm a mod and live stream director since day one. Uh, like I said, uh, tomorrow night at around 6 p.m. It's all Eastern Standard Time. We're in the same time zone as New York and Washington. Um, we got, I don't know more, uh, weekly teaching. Thursday, uh, Devine's First Nation show, we're going to interview, yep, at the Timmy's, okay, we're going to interview Nishu Chief um, Stanley George, Um, 
Yes, um, it's, I can't believe it's been exactly two weeks since the Nishu arrived in Ottawa. And uh, Stanley George, we're going to interview him uh, via Skype. From um, He's not on his territory. He's elsewhere in Quebec. I was in contact with him uh, today. Um, then we got Friday night at the movies, then uh, Sunday night at 10. The Bean Show starts at 10.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, every Thursday night. Uh, episode 78 this week is it's, it's 18 month anniversary. Um, what a tank of hosts. And I've been proud to direct every episode. And by the way, um, Two weeks from now, uh, we're going to spotlight on Devine's First Nation show next week. Um, I don't know more graffiti artists. Uh, I, I have a, a number of uh, graffiti artist friends who were telling us uh, that the I don't know more has really spurred on the First Nations graffiti artists, and they're just kicking it. They are like the kings and queens of the heap, and and we and we have a. Um, our uh, graffiti artist named Snail is going to be our guest, um, and we're going to be on location and showing lots of examples of why the First Nations uh, graffiti artists here in Toronto, Montreal, are just like, they're, they're kicking it. And, um, and then Sunday nights at 10, there's my uh, I, Shanger's How to Livestream show, their master classes on how to livestream, the art the theory, the science, the politics, troubleshooting, everything to do with uh, live stream. And um, yes, that's just, uh, and then a lot of other events um, as well as, as comes by. So thank you. Thank you. Yar, thank you for hosting this. Yar. Thank you. Okay. Occupy Toronto live stream. Just go uh, uh, the Facebook events page. I'll I'll, I'll uh, post the uh, archive link. Is that, is that live okay, great, great. I'm just about to cut, and then it'll be within within 30 seconds of me pressing stop. It's already in the archive. People can watch it. Okay, great. Uh, All right. Okay. Great. I don't want to be watching as a live stream. Uh, we peaked at about 20, but that's not indicative of what the total number was. Wait until it gets retweeted. Oh, that's just so that'll yeah, be on, I'll put the stats on as well awesome. on the Thank events you. page. And that's on, that'll be on the events page on Facebook. Yeah, okay, yeah. Great. Okay, great. Thank okay. you so much for doing that. No problem. Yeah, My pleasure. Add, add us on Facebook. <laughs> Yar. <It's> Selena Flood. <laughs> okay. Take care. Have a good night. Yar. Actually, here. Yeah. Just in case you, that, that's my name. My website doesn't work okay. anymore, but uh, okay. but at least you can look me up on Facebook. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, folks. So that is that, and uh, are you chatting? We are streaming. Yes. About the hit stop. Okay, folks. So that is that, and um, signing off. D Shanger. We live streamers don't say bye, we say see you on the live chat. Okay? Yeah, I seen you out there. I saw you at the candlelight vigil challenge. Yeah. I was there. Nice. The Chavez one yeah, was nice. I saw you. Yes. Yes. I saw you also at the I don't know more. Protest. Yeah. Yeah. I go to all the protests. Nice. The ones that hurt. Nice. Latin Americans are very in touch with I'm Chilean, so Nice. Revolutionary. Nice. Ciao! Come meet uh, a local, uh, he's, he's a well-known uh, media person. <laughs> he likes live streaming. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, I, I got to say we bye. Go. Okay. But it's good meeting you. And, thank uh, you. and uh, when's the next yeah. major protest? I'm, I'm not sure off, off the top of my head. I'm not sure, but there's always stuff. Okay. Ciao. Okay, ciao. Bye, folks.